Well, it's a nice day today. So I thought, well, come out and get some more firewood. I got that big log on the tractor. Got to haul it up the house, cut it up. That way I don't have to pick it up to put it on and just roll it onto the wood splitter. But while I was out here, I cut down three dead trees. Let's see if I remember where they're at. Yeah, right there's a cherry tree. It's good and dry. There's another cherry tree. And over there's an oak tree. I cut that down and it got hung up way up there and had hook tractor and chain onto it. Pull it down. So there's enough here for a good big full pickup load. If ain't enough for some more dead ones over the over there in the ditch. Alright, that's what I'm doing today. I better get back going. Well, good afternoon. I was out cutting some wood today. This is... I got oak and cherry wood on here. Two of them trees I cut down the other day. And... Uh, I had the cherry wood cut. And... Uh, Got a phone call, and I just happened to answer it. Uh, I thought it might have been one of them telemarketers, but I thought, oh, I'll answer it just for the heck of it. And there's a fellow here who went by a couple tires, used tires. And I told him I was over across the road cutting wood, and, and he volunteered, oh, I'll come over and help you pick it up. So I got busy and started to saw up and got the oak tree cut while he was picking up the cherry wood tree. So he stacked all this wood for me. So I sold him a couple of tires a little bit cheaper. Now what am I gonna do with this? I got the house full down cellar. So I suppose I'll have to stack it up over here someplace. I brought up that oak log there I've got to cut it up. There's a big ash log I brought up the other day on the front end of the loader. I'll get it cut one of these days. So I think i got enough wood ahead for a while. Get Kitty and Doggy to help me here. Now looky there. The wind thing is going round and round. So, uh, I guess we, we got a breeze. All right, that's enough for now. I got to get this load unloaded. Car's busted. So I got to drive the truck to turkey dinner over at Donnie's place. And, uh, oh, I went out, way out there in the field. Where I was cutting wood oh, about a month ago, and I found my flip phone that I lost out there, so why I had to buy this thing. So uh, I got plugged in to see whether it might still work. I guess my wife said, said my old one is better than her new one, so I hope it works. All right, that's enough for now. Got to start this thing up and get busy. That's enough. firewood. Doggy wanted to get out and walk around today, so walking the dog and getting in some firewood. Just got to go way over there. This wild, wild field is kind of rough. Now what am I going to do? There's that big log to hold in first part of this week was a tractor 
There's the one I hauled in yesterday, that big long one. It cut up. There's that big oak log I hauled in, oh, a couple weeks ago. And it cut up. And there's a truckload that I didn't have room enough to throw it down cellar. So I stacked it there. But I was up about 4 o'clock this morning and restacked. Oh, probably oh, a bunch of wood downstairs there. Pile about oh, five feet tall and six, one, one row wide and about seven feet long. And uh, so I got room enough to split some more. I think I'll do this small wood that I cut yesterday. I think I'll get that third down today. And I was thinking maybe I'll split the rest of this stuff and maybe stack it up there in the wagon so I'll have it ready if and when I need it yet this year. So that's what I'm going to do today. All right. Yeah, good morning. I think I've done about enough for a while. Uh, Saturday morning, I woke up about 4 o'clock in the morning felt like doing something so this there doggy so this pile of wood right here on the end from here there over what was already stacked that was over there in the coal bin I carried it all out here and stacked it up to empty out that one spot and then in the afternoon I went and got busy and split them two trees I hauled in Friday and got it all filled up in here again all nice good dry ash so I think that'll keep me going for a while all right uh it's raining anyhow so we we ain't gonna do anything today <laughs> 